Hello everybody, this is um, today's presentation on cultural diversity. What we're going to talk about is we're going to talk about how to support um, diversity in our classrooms and just kind of an overall awareness of different diverse cultures in our district. So currently right now in our district you can see that this is the breakdown of the different races that we have. We have a large um, majority of 81% white students in our current schools. We have 11% of Asian students and we have a very small percentage of um, black students, Hispanic students, and then students that have two or more um, different races. So what we're going to cover in this presentation is basically why is it important to acknowledge different diversity in our um, teachers and students and specifically how is that going to help us in our classroom? The next thing that we're going to talk about is how can we foster the different um, diversities in our district and support our students and staff that are really not the majority of the population. So we're really talking about the minority students, the ones that we don't have such a percentage in our district and how we can support them and how we can just foster diversity to support all of these different um, cultures in our school. So the first thing that we're going to talk about is um, why is acknowledging diversity important specifically for students? So in our district, we have a lot of different types of um, minority students that are not, um, they don't identify as white. So the reason that we need to um, acknowledge this diversity in our district is because when students acknowledge diversity, it helps them collaborate um, better with each other. It also um, helps students promote growth and reflection on their culture and as well as um, culture and diversity of the other students and their peers. It also helps students um, play a role for career preparation um, when they get out into the real world. They're going to um, experience and interact with a lot of different cultures and a lot of different people that are, might not be the same as them. Right? Um, and it also helps other students feel unique. All right, yet still part of a group, all right? So as long as you're acknowledging all the different reasons of why um, diversity, acknowledging that in a classroom is important, okay? It really does help um, other students. So the next thing is, um, why is acknowledging diversity important for teachers, okay? So um, there is a link with diversity and the quality of education. So um, there's a positive direct link. So if you're acknowledging more diversity in the classroom, that's correlated with the quality of education that each student is receiving. Um, it also fosters a sense of empathy and awareness towards other students. So you're aware of their culture, they're aware of your culture, and you are supporting everybody in the classroom by having a sense of empathy towards them. Um, also, it helps you as a teacher reflect on your implicit bias, okay? You are acknowledging your implicit bias if you have any, and then you're just kind of trying to um, reflect upon that as you're teaching different students of different races. And lastly, it ensures that all the students in the classroom receive an equal and quality education, all right? That you're supporting all the different cultures um, inside of your classroom. So a lot of questions have been around of how can teachers actually help promote diversity in the classroom. So we're going to discuss a couple ways that you as a teacher can actually do that and you can support the different um, diver, uh, cultures inside your classroom. So the first way is to incorporate different teaching styles. You have um, can make it um, equal and access to different opportunities, all right? So have equal access to all types of opportunities for all the students in your classroom. Um, you can include diverse learning material when possible, encourage different perspectives on topics, and lastly, you can celebrate diversity when applicable in your classroom, maybe during certain months and different um, holidays and situations like that. So the main takeaways from this presentation is, um, are there any other ways that you can think of that um, students and staff can benefit from culture diversity in our district? If so, you can just send us an email and we can kind of discuss those and include that in future presentations. Thank you very much.